Hello and welcome to The Gamery. I'm your host E.C. Bond and tonight we're going to be playing Black Orchestra by Starling Games. This is a cooperative game in which players take the role as conspirators in an attempt to end the reign of Hitler in Nazi Germany. Um, let me go ahead and post some pictures on our Facebook page where you can find that at the, I think it's at the Board Gamery or just the Gamery. I'll post a link in a minute. But these are the characters we're going to play, and I already set up the camera, and it's really hard to move stuff around, but I chose them specifically from the movie Valkyrie. If you uh, know, that is a Tom Cruise movie in which he plays an actual historical figure from Nazi Germany that tried to assassinate Hitler with a briefcase bomb, which is uh, actually one of the cards you will get in this game. There are also several other ways to defeat Hitler. Uh, as well as a coop, or I don't know, a couple of different ways that are not as violent as you might think. Some of them are just, you know, an overthrow of the government. But that is the object of the game. There are seven event stages that keep track of the time, uh, the flow, the time flow of the game. And I am going to shuffle those up now. They're each marked with a number. I feel like I'm really bright in this photo, but let me know if I'm too bright. I shouldn't be, but it looks like on the screen I look. Lighting is always an issue, especially when you're screaming. When you set up this game, you will have seven event decks. And again, these are the decks that keep track of the time of the game. You're going to take all seven or all the cards uh, of a particular event deck and take the first two off the top and return them to the box. And you place them on the track. I'm not sure if you can actually see that, but it's kind of up here. We'll go ahead and do that for you so you can see what stage we're on. Now, the reason why that's important is because the number on the top of the event stage represents the actual stage that we're in. And if you'll see here on the board itself, there are numbers. These are the areas that we can go to depending on the stage. So right now, we can move around Berlin as freely as we want, and we can move to these orange areas in the one. Um, these other areas, two and three and four, we will not be able to get to until we get to that stage. Let me keep going ahead and setting up these event decks, and then there are a couple other things that we will go over now. I was trying to set up a cool little scroll of the rules so you can see them as we're going on. It's what that black box behind below me is, but I, I'm not a coder and I couldn't figure it out in time, so that's not going to occur. However, that did allow me the ability to somewhat memorize the stages of the turn. So uh, players take turns um, performing three phases. The first phase is to check where Hitler and his deputies are. And if your marker, your conspirator, is in the same area, same section, um, these little bubbles, as one of as Hitler or one of these deputies, then you will suffer a penalty for the remainder of that round. Now that penalty only comes into play at the beginning of your turn. So if you move into a space with Hitler or a deputy, you do not get that penalty. It's only if you start the round in the same space as Hitler or one of his deputies. Uh, and they can vary, which we'll get into, but it's generally, uh, once we get into the game, I'll explain what the other steps are. Um, and skills and things like that that you'll need to have. Oh, I need to draw two off the top here. Forgive me. Now, the main action of the game, well, uh, let's, let's keep going with the three stages. So the first stage is going to be the um, check where Hitler is in deputies and then suffer those penalties. You move on to the action phase, which is when you can take up to three actions. Now, one of the actions you can take is called Conspire. When you Conspire, you will roll these dice, and depending on the number you get, oh, these are actually coming up pretty good, I think. Let's see, can you see these? Two, one, and three. That's good. Huh. So let's say I was gonna take a Conspire action at the beginning. I would roll one die for each action I currently have. Now, you have three to start out with, and a conspire action uses 
the actions you have not used up until that point. So if I did the first thing I did was a conspire action, I would roll three dice. But let's say I moved here and then did a conspire action. I wouldn't only roll two dice because one of those actions was to move. That's how conspire works. Now when you roll it, this is a good example, you get additional actions based on the numbers that you roll. So I would get three additional actions. I've used up the three for each die that I start with, the three actions you get, and now I have three more. Let's say I'd roll that two. I have four additional actions that I can do. Now those additional actions cannot be used to conspire again. So you can't do this roll more than once. Now these bullseyes go up to the descent track up here. And that descent track will give you a bonus of either raising a conspirator's motivation, which we'll get into, or lowering Hitler's military support. Now, over here, you'll see that his max support is seven and his minimum is three. He starts at three military support. You can start at two military support on an easy difficulty game. We're starting at the standard difficulty, which is why it is at three and will only go as low as three. And what's that for? Well, when you plot to take out Hitler, his military support is the number of bullseyes you have to roll in order to succeed, which we'll get into a little bit later. Um, also with this conspire roll, I should say, the numbers give you additional actions. The bullseyes will go to this descent track, which will give you either increase in motivation or lower uh, Hitler's military support. Now, the other thing they can do are these eagles, um, that role, they will increase suspicion. Now, I will go ahead and post these photos if you can get to our Facebook page or our Instagram page and you'll be able to see these a little bit better. But what these are essentially is every character has a motivation rating and a suspicion rating. And depending on that combination of the two, um, you can do certain things. Suspicion, you want that to be low. Uh, there are Gustapo raids, which are event cards that'll come up. And if you, if the Gustapo Gestapo raid, all the players, anyone with a uh, extreme suspicion, which is the highest you can get, um, will be arrested and sent to Gestapo HQ here in Berlin. Um, the other rating is their, is their motivation. Now, their motivation affects the cards they can hold in their hand as well as any special abilities that they may have, which we'll get into. Um, and they do other things, which I'm going blank on. Oh, uh, plot attempts. So in order to commit, um, in order to take out Hitler, you have to successfully plot against him, essentially. You have to get the card and then collect materials and then plot and then do the plot action. And certain plots require you, they all require you to be committed at least, but they may require you to be reckless, which means you're a fanatic, you're willing to do anything to go Hitler, and that's what those ratings mean as far as your motivation. I'm trying to do way too many things at once. Um, let's see if I can just do this and be done with it. And I will let you know the two characters we'll be playing with tonight. Or oh, actually, let me go ahead and finish everything else you can do on your turn. So, first step, check where Hitler is, check where his deputies are. Then you take up the three actions. One of those actions can be a conspire action, which will give you more actions if you roll the dice right. Now the other things you can do are actions that are on your card or actions that are on your character sheet. I'll go ahead and see if I can get a good shot of this for you. This is a character sheet. This is one of the characters we'll be playing. That is Klaus von Strathberg, played by Tom Cruise in the movie. I'm a big fan of Tom Cruise. This is a great movie, and I do love historical movies all the same. Now, if you'll notice, down here in the bottom, this is just the most ridiculous thing in the script. That is your suspicion rating. It goes from low, medium, high to extreme suspicion, which means the Gestapo know who you are, and they're going to arrest you. Just above that, you'll see the timid, skeptical, motivated committed and reckless ratings uh, depending on where you are on that track you will get to do certain things once you're timid if you're only timid you can only hold two cards in your hand once you get to skeptical you can hold up to six cards in your hand because it's a two-player game that does go down in higher players uh, i believe this is a five-player game max 
Motivated means you get to then use your special ability, which I'll go over what each of these characters have special ability wise. And then committed, you can attempt plots. Reckless, you can attempt more brazen plots. So along with Klaus von Strathberg of the Wordmark, that is an important distinction that he has. We're also going to play Dietrich Bonhoeffman. And by the way, just like last week's video when I played Yeto and I butchered the Japanese language, don't expect any less butchering. There's going to be just about as much butchering for German as I have for Japanese. I am not a linguist. That is not what I do for a living. Uh, but this is Dietrich Bonhoeffer, and he's going to be our other conspirator along with Klaus von Strasberg. Um, I believe Dietrich Bonhoeffer in the movie was played by Eddie Izzard, but I could be wrong. I will have to look that up, but maybe someone could look it up in the chat and we can find out that way. So the other thing, uh, oh, let me go ahead and keep setting up this event deck because I'm taking out these cards. Those are interrogation cards. I don't know if you can kind of see that right over here. Those are for when you get arrested. They will interrogate you. What is your name? Liar. That's seven. Oof. This is a good stretch over here. Very good stretch. Two guards off the top. Now, in my experience of playing this game, you re you rarely get to a uh, stage seven um, from the events just because by the time four or five hit, the Gestapo are raiding, you know, when you pull the event cards and you're going to get arrested. And if both your conspirators get arrested, then you're out of the game. So, let's go back over the actions. Um, you can do an action on your card or on your character sheet. Now, most of the actions on your card you can do regardless of your motivation level. But in order to do an action on your card, you have to be motivated, which let's just say that's a level three motivation. Uh, three out of six. One, two, three, four, five. Three out of five as far as a motivation rating. Um, and then you can do certain actions. Now, for Klaus von Strathberg, our Tom Cruise character, they can take one additional action during your turn. So that's cool. Once he gets motivated, he has four actions to start with. Dietrich can raise the motivation of all conspirators in his space by one. That is a very powerful ability because, as you'll see, motivation is hard to keep and necessary to do just about anything. You can collect an item. Now, the items I have not put out yet, so you can kind of see now what I'm doing. These are just little envelopes, and they cover up locations. Now, the reason why they do that is you have to reveal the item and then pick it up then that location that item was on is now available to have an item delivered. And there's no way that you're gonna be able to see all the text on here, but if you do go to our Instagram page and Facebook, I did take a better picture and a little zoomed up view of the board so you can kind of see. But what these um, little squares basically mean, these little locations, they will ask for a specific item to lower down your suspicion, which can be very helpful. The theme behind that is, um, even though you're a conspirator and you're conspiring against the government, you still have duties within the government that you have to accomplish or you have to do. And when you do your normal everyday job, then there's less suspicion on you. You're just thinking, oh, okay, well, Dietrich is going around, you know, delivering explosives to the armory or whatever. So therefore, he clearly is on our side and he's not conspiring against Hitler. Little do they know that you are, in fact, conspiring against Hitler. And before we start, I will read the little fluff text for each of these characters because they are based on actual historical characters from that era. And we're almost done all the way over here, just stretching across. I don't know how this looks on camera because I can't really see it. Uh, I don't know how it sounds either, but hopefully it's good. Again, if there's any problems with the stream, just please let me know in the chat. Also, if you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe. That is extremely helpful to what we do. Um, now, oh, also, I will need to place the Hitler. I'll need to place Hitler and his deputies on the board. They do have starting locations that are marked with very small little things. You probably can't pick them up from over there, but let's go ahead and put Hitler up here. Match that up. Hess with his little Eldritch star. It looks like I don't even know is there. Bormann is in Nuremberg. Goring is in Munich. Goebbels. Goebbels. That always sounds like a turkey. Goebbels. 
Marvels. Uh, is over at the Minister of Propaganda, and the Gestapo headquarters is the home of Himmler. Now, that is the setup. I believe that's everything. Let me go ahead and double check. Uh, place it in the front deputies. Brian will shuffle item tiles per mouse. Select difficulty level. We did that. Shovel the event cards. Did that. Place a conspirator deck and interrogator deck and dice. We did that. Each player chooses. Done. A pawn in the marker. They start in the train station of Berlin. Now, a thing to keep in mind is that as these other areas have little white lines showing that they can travel to those locations, Berlin is more of a blown up view of that. All these locations are essentially adjacent to one another. So I can move from here all the way over here with one movement point. Unlike over here, I do have to travel by these arrows. And again, only certain areas are available depending on the event stage. So right now, we're only allowed to come down here, and we can go all through Berlin as much as we like. Hmm. Already going for the water. That's not a good sign. So, um, and that is all. Now, Klaus von Strachberg. He's a war monk. Um, that's kind of like a faction as far as this game is concerned. Um, the war monk and the Abwer, which I'm probably not saying that right. I know there's a friend out there who's yelling at this stream right now trying to say it right. I can't say that word right. Abwer, Abwer, Abwer is the other faction. So we have Wormach and Abwer. These will be important distinctions when we get to the conspirator cards or the plot cards because certain plot cards are better if you are of that faction. Now, uh, Stauffenberg generally supported Hitler during the first stages of the war. He was involved in a number of military engagements, but the atrocities committed along the Eastern Front finally pushed Stauffenberg into the resistance and to the forefront of Operation Valkyrie. He was selected to place a bomb under the conference table during a meeting with Hitler. Though the bomb killed four people and wounded most of the others, Hitler emerged largely unscathed. Schaffenberg was executed in the early morning hours of the following day. That is the uh, movie Valkyrie. Now, Dietrich Bonhoeffer. He was a theologian. Uh, Bonhoeffer was a brilliant theologian, but his strong Christian beliefs soon put him in direct conflict with the Nazi party. Eventually, he came to the conclusion that Hitler must be opposed and, if necessary, assassinated. He then joined the Abwehr, Abwehr, oh God, I gotta stop, uh, the German intelligence service hmm, to further his conspiratorial, act, conspiratorial activities under the guise of supporting the regime. After the 20 July plot, his opposition war came to light and he was executed on April 8th, 1945. Again, I just love these little historical uh, blurbs they put on here. Um, really connect you to the game because these were real people that did actual things um so if there are no questions and it looks like uh there are not we're going to go ahead and get started uh tom tom please go first because he's the fastest runner there is but before i do that let's just double check to see where everyone is and none of these deputies are in the spot with a conspirator so don't have to worry about that step next will be uh the actions that you can take I am going to go ahead and do a conspire action, rolling three dice. Let me see if you guys can see it. That's not good. Let me roll it where you guys can see it. Okay, well, that was not a great roll for a conspire action. I raised my suspicion from low to medium. I then get to put these two dice on the descent track which will give me a little bonus later on in the game. Now we will draw our first event card. And there are also, before we get started, there are key events that come into play and these key events, um, I'll lay them out so you can kind of see them. You won't be able to read them, but at least you'll know they're there. These key events stay in play throughout the entire event stage and they are referenced by other cards that come out. In this card, if the stage key event is in play, ignore this card and draw another. The key event is on a place, and then we do it. The Alschultz, Austria is peacefully annexed by Germany. Raise Hitler's military support by one. He's at four. Move Hitler and Goring to Munich. 
Goring is already in Munich. We're going to move Hitler all the way to Munich, and that's where they are. That is the end of the event phase. Throw that right in front of me. Uh, now I don't really get to move. I don't get to do anything else because I use all my actions back on my conspire action and nothing happened. So we'll move to the next step, which is Dietrich's turn. And the first thing he'll do is, excuse me, he's going to check to see if there's any deputies or Hitler in his space. There is not. He's going to now move to his turn. And since I did not roll very good in that last one, I'm going to go ahead and, oh, I don't think I went over all the actions you can take. I do apologize. All the actions you can take, you can perform an action on your card or a card in your hand. You can collect an item. Now, the item has to be revealed before you collect it. One of the actions you can take is to reveal an item. So that does cost you an action just to see what's underneath here. Um, you can deliver an item to an open area, an area that a space on here that is open. And then you get the bonus that's there depending on what you're delivering. You can move one space. Again, all Berlin is considered adjacent. These are all one space away. Um, you can draw one card from the events deck and then add that to your dossier is what it's referred to as. And it just goes on the table face up. Uh, another thing you can do is attempt to release uh, another fellow conspirator from the Gustavo HQ. Once they get arrested, they'll be in prison. And you can attempt to save them. Another thing you can do is transfer any items from your hand to uh, another conspirator if you're in the same space. Pretty standard stuff. Hmm. So, Dietrich will not try to do a conspire action because I did not do very good on that last one. I'm going to try something a little different with him. Uh, but one thing we definitely need is a card. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a card from the dossier deck. And the first card I'm going to get is, let's see if you guys can see it. Nope, never mind. Is Delay Hitler. This is an instant card, essentially. If it has a little lightning bolt on it, that means you can use it at any time, I believe. Let me double check that. Uh, it does not require an action to resolve. It can be resolved at any time, even on another player's turn. So I can use this card whenever I want. It does not cost an action. When an event would cause Hitler to leave his space, cancel that movement. Hitler remains in his current space. Resolve the rest of the, the event as usual. Now, the reason why that's good is if I'm real close to getting my plot attempt underway and I don't want Hitler to go anywhere, I'll play that card and keep him right where he is. So that was one action to draw the card. Um, I'm going to perform that same action again to draw that card because I want to see a plot. Uh, let's see. A concealed pistol. This is an illegal card. Uh, legal cards act like if I if there's a Gestapo raid, uh, they're going to first arrest everyone that has an extremely extreme suspicion level. Then I'm going to increase my suspicion by one for every one of these red cards that I have. But they're very powerful. So while this card is in my dossier, I treat this card as both a weapon item and a conspirator card. It can be discarded, transferred, or delivered in the same way as an item and does not count against your item limit. This is a weapons item, which we'll get into. But I can only hold two cards. That was two actions, so I'm not going to draw any more cards this round. I am going to attempt to conspire. Now, I can do that because I have one action left. I'm going to then just use one die to do the conspire action. And all I did was raise my suspicion. Conspire is not going very well for me. So now we move to the event stage, and I draw the next event card. Uh, it is key, if the stage's key event is in play, ignore this card. It is not. Uh, Czechoslovakia invaded. Czechoslovakia surrenders to Hitler with a little resistance. Raise Hitler's military support by one. Wait. Whoops. We didn't see that. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? This is a stage two card. Forgive me. I'm used to drawing these cards from up here. This is where it needs to be drawn from. I want to make sure I didn't do that with the second one. Nope. We're good. Hmm. Everything's fine. So, this is the first, this is the next card in the event step for. 
Dietrich Bonhoeffer's turn. Berlin speech. Hitler gives a speech to supporters at a local arena. Set Hitler's military support to its starting value. Oh, that's good. We can move this down, actually. Move Hitler and Goebbels to Sportsblatt. I'm not saying that right. We know this. Hitler. Goebbels. All conspirators, sir, all conspirators in Berlin lower the suspicion by one. I am technically in Berlin because we're at the train station in Berlin. So now they both get to lower their uh, susp uh, suspicion down to low, which is very good. And that's it. Now, let's go back to Klaus van Strapburg. Still in the train station. Haven't left there yet. Uh, it is my turn to do stuff, and I need to see some cards. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these conspirator cards because I don't think I did this since the last game. I was setting everything up kind of late tonight. Ooh, that might have been very loud for you at home. I normally do have music on when I'm playing games, and I would recommend for those of you at home, if you ever do play this game, to try the soundtrack to Valkyrie, to that movie. It's a very good soundtrack and background music for a game like this. So, Klaus von Stromberg, he's going to draw a card. First action, and he has a quick reaction. This is a lightning card, so I can play it at any time. Discard this card, reroll one die during any plot attempt. Pretty cool. Could be handy. Another card, an illegal card, uh, Moment of Truth. I can discard this card, add two dice to a plot you attempt. Ooh, very good. Ooh, very good cards. I like these. Now I just need a plot, or I need to raise my motivation. Both things are going to be very difficult right now. So that is the end. Oh, well, no, I still have one more action left, so I'm going to go ahead and roll a die on this Conspire action, see if I can get some bonuses. And, well, good news is I have fulfilled my Descent track, so all those dice are there, meaning I can now either lower Hitler's military support or raise the motivation of any player in play, any conspirator in play. I am not going to lower Hitler's support because he's already at three, so therefore I'm going to raise the motivation of Dietrich Bonhopper because he is the next player in order and he will get to draw more cards. He has two. He can now have at least six. Now, if at any point during the game his motivation goes back down to Tim and he does have to discard all those cards, then draw back or get down to two. So now uh, that was the last action. I rolled Conspire, which means now we do another event stage. Party Rally. The Rally of Greater Germany is held in Nuremberg. Move Hitler and all deputies to Nuremberg. Nuremberg is here. Goebbels. Hess. It's a dead man's party. Hmm. 99 balloons. No, that's the only other German song I could think of. Uh, and that's all. They go there. So now it is Dietrich's turn. He is not in Nuremberg, so we don't have to worry about any of those penalties. But imagine if he was here. Oh, that would have been horrible for him. He would have suffered all those penalties. It would have been very, very bad. But he wasn't, so we're fine. Now, let's see. I think we should just keep drawing cards until we know what we need. Our suspicion is low. Generally, delivering items will lower suspicion. Right now, we're at the lowest we can, so getting more items isn't really necessary. Um, and we're very limited of where we can go anyway, so I'm going to keep drawing cards. Have another card. Oh, another illegal card for Dietrich. This is Military Secrets. Discard this card in Zerk or Stockholm to lower military, the lower Hitler's military support by one. Could be very handy to come in later on. Uh, let's draw another card. Oh, finally, we get our plot card. Let's see, I think this is probably a better camera to pick it up. Yeah, poisonous gas. So, in order to fulfill this plot, I need to have... Excuse me, so sorry. <laughs> it's a live feed, what can I do? Um, I need to be in the same space as Hitler, and Hitler needs to be in a fortified space. Now, fortified spaces will have this little marker here. Let me see if it's coming out white markers that's a fortified space that's a fortified space uh, I will need to be an Abvor 
Abwer, which is what Dietrich is. I will need to get poison and I need to have keys. And I can have multiple poisons to get this done. So this is a very good card to have. Hmm. Interesting. I like this. All right. So that is four cards. That was my second action. I'm going to go ahead and conspire again. Come on. One of these conspire actions has to work. Just one, please. No. Did not work. Increase suspicion. So that will be the end of the action phase for Bonhoeffer. We're going to go ahead and draw the next event card. See what comes up. Visit from Goebbels. Goebbels. Wait, I need to do the voice. Like, visit from Goebbels. Goebbels oversees the latest propaganda efforts by local media. Uh, move Goebbels to the space with the nearest conspirator. That would move him to the train station, which I don't think they can actually go in there, but let's go ahead and do it. If there is only one conspirator on that space, which there isn't, the conspirator may raise his suspicion too high to raise the motivation by two. So we cannot do that. That's it. That's stage one. Now play moves back to Klaus van Strafberg. He is still in the train station there. Oh, wait. Now that little effect that I told you about is coming to play because Goebbels is in the same space as Klaus van Strafberg. And if Goebbels is in your space, you cannot use your special ability this turn. Not terrible, just because uh, you can't really do anything with that special ability now until you are more motivated. Forgive me, I'm going to try to... Where can I do this? Oh, it's on here. I have someone asking for the stream. All right, that's not going to work. If you can, just forgive me while before we get started with his turn. So let's see. I have three actions there. Don't know how that works, but that's what's happening. Back to the game. Three actions. He can't perform a special ability. Not a problem because he couldn't anyways. He's not motivated. I have two cards. None of them really help me. Low suspicion. Low motivation. I need to change that. And there's not a lot of ways to do that right now. But I do also need to move from there. So I know. And th this is all public knowledge by the way. So it is a co-op. You do want to help your other players. I think it wouldn't be a bad idea to start revealing some of these other items so we can take a look and see if maybe just maybe uh, we can pull some poison out which is what we really want to do let's see if we can do that so i'm going to move klaus framberg from the train station one to the closest one sports blatt that's one action this is two actions intel type of item there are three copies of each item in the game. That was one, that was two, let's move here to three, and that will be my three actions. Not even gonna bother conspiring because every time I do it doesn't work. Now, the next event comes out. Uh, investigations begin, Gestapo agents begin investigating suspicious persons. All conspirators raise their suspicion by one. That will bring Bonhoeffer to high and Klaus van Strafberg to medium. What if I can do that voice again? Investigations begin. Nope, can't do it. Not even gonna bother trying. As you can tell, still a little <clears throat> air is pretty dry in here. Oh, you know what? I wonder if that might help. Sorry about that, and thank you. So let's see. That was three actions, that was the event card, that was Klaus van Strathberg's turn. So now it is Bondhopper's turn. Now, the problem here is that I need to get more actions than I'm getting. I'm gonna try it again to roll the conspirator dice in order to get additional actions. I'm hoping this will work this time. Let's see, three dice, come on. And no, I am just so bad at this. 
Ah, so the sync track is up. My suspicion is now extreme. That is not good. That is very much not good. Um, luckily, there are no Gustav raids in the first stage, um, but still, I need to figure out a way to lure that down. That was his turn. Let's turn the next event card up. Parade in Berlin. Hitler celebrates Heroes Remembrance Day in Berlin. Move Hitler, Goebbels, and Hess to Zoghaus. All the way up here. Let's see. Hitler, Goebbels, Hess. Hess. Goebbels and Hitler. You three guys move up here. All Wormach and Berlin lower the suspicion by one. Uh, yep. Klaus van Strapberg is a Wormach, so then he lowers his suspicion. While this is the current event, ignore two uh, suspicion on all plot attempts. Very helpful, but unfortunately, I doubt that this is going to be anyone's going to be attempting plots this turn. So that was Klaus van Strapberg. Let's move over now to Teacher Bonhoeffer, who is at the Gestapo. Nope, he's still in the train station, and there's no one there, so he's cool. Uh, now let's see what we can do here. Wait, no, that was, excuse me, that was Bonhoeffer. Now it is back to Strasbourg, because I forgot he conspired. I still need to get more actions. I gotta, I gotta roll the conspire dice. This has to work now. I don't know, maybe I should get my dice tower out. Actually, that's my problem. Let's see. Okay, this actually worked out really well. So, we have enough dice on the, the descent track to gain a little boost, and we're gonna use it to boost up Dietrich Bonhoeffer to motivate it. We're going to do that. Even though his suspicion's high, we're still going to do that because he has a very cool ability now where he can raise motivation of all conspirators in his space by one. So I'm going to be moving to his space um, with the three actions I got. Now this die is a leftover. goes on the descent track. We can use that later on. Three actions. Uh, let's go one. Let's reveal two. Actually, no. Let's go one, reveal. It's a signature. I want to leave him there, though. So is there anything else I can do on this turn? I want to leave him there. Deliver an item? No. Oh, I can... No. I'm still... I, well, I can draw a card and get rid of a card. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So uh, for his last action, he's going to draw a card. Uh, military Secrets, Lord Miller. Okay, so very similar to Military Secrets. I already have one for Bonhoeffer. So I'm just going to go ahead and discard this card. I'm not going to need it. And you can do that. You can draw. Pass your hand limit. You just got to discard it back down when you're done. Now we're looking at the next event to pull. Let's see what we got. Visit from Himmler. Himmler unexpectedly arrives for a top-level meeting. Move Himmler to the space with the nearest conspirator. Now we're both in the same place. So Himmler's going to come over here. That is not good. Uh, if there's only one conspirator at the space, there is it. The conspirator may roll a die. Roll a 1, 2, 3. Res motivation by that amount. Oh, this could have been very helpful. Hmm. This could have been very helpful. If I only had one conspirator there, I'd roll a die. And if I rolled any of the numbers, one, two, or three, I can raise my motivation that high, which would be really good. Um, but if I rolled a suspicion, I would raise my suspicion by two. Still, not a bad card to get. Unfortunately, it's not going to do me much good because I am and not I am sharing a space with another conspirator. Now, the next thing we're going to do that was the end of Klaus von Schreckberg's turn. So now it's the beginning of Dietrich's turn. Himmler is in the spot, which means that Himmler raises suspicion by one. Well, too bad, Himmler. I'm already at extreme suspicion, so whatever. Like, he can't... Whatever. Come at me, bro. I don't know. He's already, he's already suspicious. Hmm. Now, it is the beginning of his turn, and one thing he's going to do is this one action where he gets to raise the motivation of all other conspirators in his space by one, which means Strafberg's going to go from timid to skeptical, 
increasing his hand limit, which is what we really want. We want his hand limit higher because we need to get more cards because we need to get stuff. Um, that is one action. Um, I don't need this signature, or do I? I need poison and keys. And I don't see any poison or keys there, so I'm going to spend the other two actions to roll two dice on a conspire action. And I get two more actions and my maximum suspicion, so nothing happens there. Two actions I can do what I want with. And with those two actions, I am going to. I'm going to move, that's for one, that's for sure. Uh, let's see. I'm going to move up here, why not? And that's one action. There's two actions. What is that? That's a map. Map's not going to help us. Not going to help us just one bit. All right. Now we move to the event ste step. That event deck is getting pretty small. Deputies deployed. The Reich's top leaders are dispatched across Germany. Move Borman to Hanover. Borman, where are you? Where's Hanover? Oh, here we go. Move Goring to Tannenberg. Tannenberg's here. Goring is here. There you go. Move Himmler to Nuremberg. Oh, thank you. We needed him out of there. And there's that. Now it's the beginning of Klaus van Strathberg's turn. There are no uh, deputies there at a spot, so we can ignore that. We will then move to the actions. And, you know, I still... I've got to do something. I've got to make some moves here. Um... I can draw cards. I'm going to draw one card, and I'm going to draw one card. Let's see if I get a plot. I do get a plot. plot. A coup d'etat. I need to be in the same space as Hitler, and Hitler needs to be in Berlin. Uh, I need a signature, and if everyone is all is in the same space, then I get two dice. And there is a signature right where he is. Perfect. Oh, that's great. So that was one action. Two actions. I'm going to pick up signature because I do need this. I can hold a maximum of four items. I have one on Strapberg, nothing on Dietrich. I have one action left. I'm going to roll the dice. I'm going to conspire. Come on, let's get some numbers here. Three. Bam. Three. Perfect. So, what is also good about this, let's see. So, now that I've picked up an item at the Gestapo HQ, that location now is available to have items delivered which means that if i tuning you only for intel if i deliver intel to that space then i will lower my suspicion by two it's very handy um but i have three actions let's go here for one reveal for two explosives not very not very necessary then we'll go three to the ministry of propaganda We'll reveal that later and see what happens. Now, let's. that's the end of uh, uh, Strathberg's turn. I want to keep calling Tom Cruise. That's why I get all nervous. And we will draw the next event card. And, of course, it's a word that I cannot pronounce. Kristallnacht. Kristall. Kristall knock. Outrages are committed against the Jewish community. That's not good. All conspirators raise their motivation by one. Oh, good. That's... It's good because we need motivation, not good because they did that. I want to make that very clear. Very fine line in the stream. Very fine line. Playing a game called Black Orchestra. It's about the plot to kill Hitler. Still a very controversial subject, but, you know, I'm not a Nazi, so it's, we're cool. Uh, all conspirators raise the motivation by one. Move Hitler and all deputies to their starting spaces. Oh, okay. So Hitler's over here. He's going to move up. That's not good. Well, we'll see what happens. So, uh, let's see. Goebbels will go there. Hess will come down to... Where is it? Here. Bormann will go there. Himmler will come back to the Gestapo HQ. Goring will go to Munich. And that will be that event. It's not good. Because now we're going to start with Dietrich Bonhoeffer. He's over here. Hitler's there with him. And since Hitler is there, that means decrease your motivation by one. Not great. He could have attempted a plot. Well, he could have. He doesn't have the poison, though, so that's a problem. So, not a big deal. He's that motivated now. 
Um, now you can also use his special ability. He's not going to though. What he is going to do is move for one, pick up intel for two. And the reason why I'm doing that is I want to deliver the intel here so I can start lowering my suspicion. Yes. But now we're going to roll Conspire Dice. We're going to try to get more actions. We'll see if we can do this. I'm getting a nice haircut comment. Why, thank you. Baby love. So here we got. Oh, right. The scent track. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Um, yeah, not bad at all. All right. So now we're moving to the event step of Bonhoeffer's turn. This is going to be the last card of the stage one event. So let's see what it is. Assassin caught. Maurice Bardou confesses his plan to shoot Hitler during a parade. The conspirator nearest to Hitler raises their suspicion too high. They're both equal. It's a co-op. I can choose. This was Dietrich's turn. He'll take it, but he's already at extreme, so it wouldn't phase him at all. Move Hitler to the Chancellery. Where is the Chancellery? Oh, here. There you go. And that is the end of stage one. So now we are on stage two, which means that now we've opened up these two areas here, uh, Vienna and Berghof. More little spaces to go to, even though we haven't ventured south yet. So that's where we are. Now, <clears throat> we are looking for poison gas. We're looking for poison. We already have a signature. Signatures are great, but we still need poisons if we're going to do this right. Um, wait a minute. Where is Hitler? Hitler's at the Chancellery. His military support is at three. I could roll. I could roll four dice. I can discard a card, get two. I get one for being in the space of Berlin, one for my signature. That's four dice. Yeah, I want to do it. Oh boy, do I want to do it. I want to do it with four dice. How cool would it be if I just won this game right now at stage two? I think it would be pretty cool. Um, uh, decisions, decisions. Well, you know what? You only live once. And plus he has the lowest, he has the lowest suspicion. His suspicion is, a, is, is low. So I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm absolutely going to do it. All right, guys, here we go. You are about to witness either the end of <laughs> Black Orchestra or the start of a very cool event. So I'm going to move from Ministry of Propaganda to the Chancellery where Hitler is there. I have a plot. The plot is a coup d'etat. In order to do this plot, I have to meet certain requirements. I have to be in the same space as Hitler. Check. Hitler needs to be in any Berlin space. Check. That will give me one dice. Now, I have a signature item that will give me another dice. If I had another conspirator there, I'd get two more dice, which is very good, but you know what, I'm gonna risk it. I'm also gonna play Moment of Truth, add two dice to any plot attempt you try. So that would be two dice, where are they? Right here. I also have a card that will let me re-roll a dice. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Four dice. We are looking for these bullseyes, guys. We're looking for these bullseyes. Let's go. Cheer me on. About to do a coup d'etat to take Hitler out of power. I did not succeed. But I can reroll a die. Reroll one die. All right, let's see what happens. I'm going to reroll this. This suspicion die. If this comes up bullseye, game's over. I just won. <laughs> Let's see. <gasps> Shortest stream ever. Solo. I am solo playing Black Orchestra, and I just killed Hitler. Ah! Woo! Yes. Oh my goodness. And I played it. I mean, we can. It's it's a live stream. So if I played it wrong, submit it to the. I mean, yeah. I check check my work, but I know I did it right. Here is the card. It's a coup d'état, as you can see. And it worked. I did it. I killed Hitler. That means I get... Where's that cool little card they give you? 
Yeah. Uh, here. We killed Hitler. Check that out. Wow. All right. Well, that was a solo play of Black Orchestra by Starling Games. <laughs> it's a one to five co-op. And uh, basically, you just do what I did there and bam, game's over and you win. It actually is a lot harder <laughs> than it looks. I'm still thinking maybe I did something wrong, but no, I had the signature. I had that card. Uh, there were no Gestapo raids, so that wasn't an issue. Hitler was there, and yeah, I played it right. I can't think of anything I did wrong. So um, short stream tonight, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. This has been <laughs> this is the Gamery. I'm your host, EC Bond. Uh, if you have any questions, please go ahead and send some messages on Facebook or Instagram or on our YouTube channel. And uh, if you like this video, please uh, go ahead and click like and subscribe. Um, oh, Mike is jumping in and saying, hey, what did I miss? What? I just got here. Yeah, uh, I won, Mike. I just uh, did a coup d'etat on Hitler and beat him. Uh, his military support was at three. Um, that was the standard difficulty, and it got lowered, I think, by one of the event cards. But, uh, yeah. Eh, not a big deal. Eh, whatever. Beat this game, no problem. <laughs> so, thank you very much for watching. Mike, uh, sorry you checked in at the very last minute, but um, that is it for tonight. Tomorrow night, we're going to be playing Nemesis. Uh, that is by Awakened Realms Games. That is a very fun survival horror game. It will not be over in an hour, I guarantee it. Actually, it's more like 30 minutes, wasn't it? Because, I, I mean, it was about 30-minute explanation and then 30 minutes of gameplay. Very quick. But, hey, I got Hitler. I'm so happy. I can't even... <laughs> I got Hitler. Really happy. I hate you never watch it again. <laughs> Dude, I got Hitler in 30 minutes. Come on. You love me. I got... You know, whatever. Could it on Hitler? Stage two. Stage one. Bam. And you guys saw how I was rolling. I was rolling crap all game, too. Whatever. Um, again, thank you very much for watching. Nemesis tomorrow night. Next week is going to be a... Uh, I'm going to change up the schedule a little bit. There's going to be painting on Monday nights instead of Tuesday nights. Tuesday nights is going to be a review show. Um, we've done a few games already, and I do have other players that play. Also, Mike and Amanda, who are frequent guests on the show, they do watch. And I thought maybe a review show of the games we've played, uh, just board gaming in general, and some news, some Kickstarters, just anything that's on our mind. Uh, and not just from me, but also from them as well, and from the groups. So we can include more people uh, into what the game Marie is. Um, that'll be Tuesday night, board game review. Monday night next week, I believe I'm doing Yeddo again. Um, and I've actually, I've gone completely blank. I have no idea what I'm doing next week. But there is a schedule on Facebook that you can check out. Let's a quick look right here. Let's see. Yeddo again, and then Horrified. We wanted to do Horrified on Halloween, uh, but none of us had played it until then, or I hadn't played it until then. So I wanted to kind of feel it. And that is another very cool co-op. Uh, and it's a target game, which makes it ever so better because it's accessible to everyone. But that is all. Thanks again for watching. This is The Game Ring. I'm your host, E.C. Bond, and good night.